Good morning. It is 7.55 a.m. on Saturday, June 12th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I've actually sort of been idly browsing the internet for about 45 minutes, really. So, you know, does that count as just got up? Eh. You know what? Doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good weekend so far. Um, I, yeah, I had a relatively stressful week. I mean, I don't want to overstate things, but, you know, it was just uh, longer hours than I have become accustomed to and uh, just doing some, you know, important stuff. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's, it's fine. But it's a more intense week than usual, so I was ready for a weekend is really just my point there. But I also kind of uh, ended up having a minor migraine uh, yesterday afternoon and evening, which is, I think, really a, almost a bigger part of why I uh, was so ready for the weekend. And in particular, as I was getting ready to leave work, I was just thinking to myself, boy, I can't wait to get home and take a nap with my dog. You know, and uh, I did, and it was great. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I did still feel a little bit loopy yesterday. I, every time I mention migraines, I feel like the need to qualify just because... I don't want to overstate things because, I, you know, just like some, I'm, a lot of people when they talk about migraines talk about just these debil debilitating episodes that just leave them unable to do anything except lie down in a dark room. And I, I, mine are not that bad, which is not to say they're fun, but uh, it's, I would say for me, more akin to like a regular headache it has certain characteristics and accompanying symptoms that is what I would uh, use to diagnose it as a migraine. But ultimately, I'm still able to do stuff. I just don't feel great is all. But in any event, I, uh, you know, took a nap. Um, and then I had some dinner and, wa and played a little bit of the new Ratchet and Clank game, which so far, very fun. I like it a lot. Talked about yesterday how I've always liked the Ratchet and Clank games, and now it's a new one, and I like it. Hooray. Um, but then I actually was, you know, kind of stopped playing that for a while just because I was feeling like I needed something a little bit more passive. So I started browsing around, like, what do I feel in the mood to watch? And I never would have guessed that this is where I would end up. But, what, you know, as I was browsing around for things, I ended up watching the original Child's Play which I had seen before, but not in a while. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know what? It's like, part of what I guess I didn't remember is that the mom becomes convinced only about halfway through the movie. I kind of, for some reason, remembered it being longer before any adults actually come along, you know, come around to that idea. But, uh, you know what? It's honestly it holds up pretty well. I feel like it's, you know, as in, in that kind of slasher, you know, genre, I feel like it holds up pretty well. Um, you know, Brad Dourif as, uh, the voice of Chucky is of course great. Um, there's a lot of, uh, really clever special effects work. Um, because, you know, you have like the standard good guy doll that is the one that, you know, is meant to fool people. But then you have all the different versions uh, that need to be able to do all the other things, you know. And then obviously, you know, some of them are you've got a, a little person in a costume, but they use clever camera tricks to, you know, convey uh, what's, what's meant to be happening there. Uh, because, I mean you know, the Chucky, the dolls, very small, you know, smaller even than most little people. So, uh, you know, they, they use additional special effects there, but it's some great stuff. And, um, you know, if you're into that kind of movie, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, so I kind of enjoyed myself, even though I wouldn't necessarily have predicted that that was the mood I was in. 
Uh, it occurs to me, though, that I've not seen the whole run, so I'm kind of briefly tempted to watch the entries in the franchise that I've not seen before. Um, in particular, two and three, and then some of the more recent ones. I did see Bride of Chucky, but I have not seen all of them, so I don't know. Maybe I'll check them out. Well, in any case, though, <laughs> I'm going to go back to being lazy and uh, lounging around my apartment, so... Uh, if you want to tune back in, though, on Twitch later tonight at 7 p.m., we're going to be playing more Dungeons of Dragons, Rime of the Frost Maiden, where the party has finally reached this buried, buried ancient city, and they're in the end game for this uh, adventure now, and it's pretty good stuff. So I'll leave it there and uh, talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>